Psalm 32, 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you, says the Lord. Psalm 119, verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Psalm 25, verses 4 and 5 say, Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Psalm 143, verse 8 says, Show me your faithful love this morning. I trust in you. Show me what I should do. I put my life in your hands. And verse 10 says, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on solid ground. All right, guys, we're going to head on outside to talk about those Bible verses. Ooh, it's a windy day. We're going to use my car to help illustrate what those Bible verses are all about. Let's see if I can do this. This is the first time I've ever taken a video facing me. Woo! There's a first for everything. All righty, here we are at my van. And right there is the most important seat in the van. And that is the driver's seat. Hopefully, the person who sits in this seat knows how to drive and knows where they're going. We usually strive to be the driver of our lives. We want more than anything to determine where we want to go and how we want to get there. But God set up the world in this way. God has a perfect plan for everyone's life. And all he asks is that we follow it and we trust and believe that it's the best plan of all. God says in Psalm 32, 8, that he will guide us and instruct us in the way that we should go. In Psalm 43, 8, David asks God to guide him, to show him his faithful love because he is actually putting his life in God's hands. Psalm 25 is a prayer that says, guide me and teach me all your ways, God, because my hope is in you alone. That's the kind of attitude that God wants us to have. He wants to be included in everything. He wants to sit in the driver's seat. There's a song that we know a dance to. It's called, You Lead, I'll Follow. And we're gonna practice that dance right now. And when we do the part that goes, I don't wanna be who I used to be, I'm gonna take the back seat and let you lead. Just think about God sitting in the front seat of your life because he knows how to drive, he knows which way you should go, and he knows how to get there the best way. Hey everyone, welcome to my backyard. This is the dance choreography video for You Lead. Feel free to pause the video anytime and rewind it until you know the entire thing. Have fun! Let's begin with the first verse. So you're going to take your right foot and step forward, split the ocean. I've got waves that are tossing me, kneel crashing all over my beliefs. Stand up, backstroke, and in all sincerity, Lord, I want to be yours. Push. So for that push part, after you go, and in all sincerity, Lord, you're going to take your left foot, you're going to step push with your right foot on your knee you're gonna go the other side and push oh you're gonna pretend like you're wiping a table and this world step forward with your right foot may push may pull flex foot turn but your mercy never fails all right you guys are doing an amazing job so far let's move on to the chorus you're gonna take your fingers, you lead, take a step, I'll follow. Take your hand, 
your hands. Windmill, hold my tomorrow. Jump to the right, your grip, other side, your grace. Finger to your head, you know the way. Take a step forward, you guide me tenderly. Point, yeah. Okay, so you're just gonna repeat those same movements that you just did. You lead, take a step, I'll follow. Now pretend like you're placing stars in the sky. Just light the way. Take a step forward with your right foot and I'll go, jump. Your left foot should be in posse and your right hand should be reaching out towards the audience. After you have reached out to the audience, you're gonna hug yourself because I know what you've got for me. And then you're gonna jump three times, but each time your arms are gonna raise a little bit higher. So I know what you've got for me. Jump is more than I can see. Now that you guys know the chorus, let's move on to the second verse. For this part, I've brought my little brother Nathan to help me demonstrate. I'm gonna be group number one. He's gonna be group number two. The lyrics start with the words, as a child, I've heard your voice. So group number one is gonna put their hands to their mouth. As a child, I've heard your voice. Group number two is gonna kneel on the ground and put their hand to their ear. But as a child, I've heard your voice. So all together, it should look like, as a child, I've heard your voice. Group number one is gonna pick the person up. But as a girl, I've made my choice. You're gonna step to the right. There is no other way for me. Clap. I'm devoted to three-step turn to you and point. Hands in prayer hands. You're my peace on the heavy step left, right, days. Hug yourself. You're my warmth like an autumn blaze turn. Windmill to the right. Your love carries me away. Push and it's never too soon. No, face each other, because this world may push, may pull. Turn under yourselves, but your mercy never fails, and jump. So after the second verse, the chorus is going to repeat again, and then it's going to go straight into the bridge, which starts like this. You're going to crunch into a ball. Sometimes when I wake up, explode, push. I don't want to rise up. Swing with your back arm out of my bed too many thoughts in my head you're gonna do the stop sign with your right arm don't want to be other arm push back who i used to be take your thumb point to the back gonna take a step back roll your arms and let you lead point to the sky point to yourself look to the right and i want to stop want to stop because i'm going too fast and I point to the sky, know my God is my God. Now you're gonna jump to the back and you've got my back, point to your back. We're almost there, all we need to do is learn this last little part at the end. You're gonna reach up to the sky, I know you got me. You're gonna reach to the side, I know you got me. And reach down, I know you got me. Turn in place with your arms up, yeah. Then you're gonna take your right arm, throw it over, and walk forward. Thank you guys so much for all the hard work and effort you've put in so far. We're almost done, so don't give up yet. All you need to know before we do an entire run through of the dance is that there are beats in the beginning of the song that go bum, ba bum, bum. That's gonna happen twice. On the second time, all you have to do is turn one, two, three, and clap. All right, let's do this. Second verse. 
Peace. Hug yourself. Turn. Windmill. Push. Face your partner. Push. Pull. Turn under. Jump. You guys are finished great job thank you so much for holding out to the end it's currently raining right now i um, just want to say thank you you learned an entire dance so give yourself a round of applause pat on the back and we'll see you next time bye hi live out loud dancers oh i miss you guys so much and i can't wait for us to be in the same room at the same time dancing together again so I wanted to share a testimony of how God led me to do something for him and for my neighbors. So here's the backstory. After Jesus defeated death by rising to life, he spent time with his disciples and he did three things for them. First, he ate with them. And this was to show them that he still wanted to be their friend, even though they had run away and hid when he was arrested and put to death. The second thing he did was to show them his wounds. Not only did they prove that he was Jesus, but they also showed him that he had overcome the suffering he had to experience. He wanted them to know that they would also experience hard things in their lives, but as they continued to follow and trust him, they would overcome these hard things. And the third thing he did was to send them out. He told them that what they had experienced and what they'd known about him and about the kingdom needed to be told to everyone. It wasn't meant to be kept a secret. It was meant to be given to the entire world because God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever would believe in him would not die but live forever with God. And Jesus shares those three things with me as well. And I thought about how I could be sent out. And I think he gave me this idea. So I went and I got some colored chalk. Ta-da! And I went outside right in front of my house, right here in front of my house, and I began to draw pictures. I also put down scripture verses on the sidewalk. So I have this really cool set of cards that have Psalms on them and I use them to help me write what I wanted to write on the, the, um, the sidewalks. And people came by and they watched me as I was decorating my front yard and some of them even took photographs. And then I decided, well, okay, now everybody knows that my family follows Jesus but I wanted to give some words of encouragement 
not just to the people who walk by my house, but to the people who walk by our neighborhood. So I went to, to the very top of our neighborhood and I began to write scripture verses again with the colored chalk on the sidewalk. So that, that day I really felt like that was the thing that God was using to send me out to bring his good news to my neighbors. Hey, maybe that's something you might want to do. If you've got some colored chalk and you've got your Bible, and we've been talking about some great encouraging Bible verses, maybe it's time for you to go out into your neighborhood, close to home of course, and decorate your sidewalk with the truth that comes from God. And as people pass your house, they will be encouraged too. I'm sure of it. So go out in Jesus' name and share his good news with colored chalk on your sidewalk. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for the wonderful creative ways that we can express your goodness to other people. I ask, Lord, that you would bless all of my dancers and that you would give them great ideas for knowing how to express their love for you, their faith in you, and to share it, Lord God, with their neighbors. And this time, Father God, where we're separated from each other, I pray that you would show them how to connect people to you through the words that they write with their colored chalk on the sidewalks. We love you, God. We dance for you, we live for you. Lord, lead us on today and every day of our life. We love you, God, and in your name we pray and dance and write scripture verses on sidewalks. And all God's dancers said, amen. All right, guys, have a great week. Enjoy your creative endeavors in the Lord. Be blessed as you write down those scripture verses on your sidewalk. And if you can, take a few pictures for me and send them my way. I would love to see them. All right, guys, bye. See you in the next episode.